Legend of Total War here with part 25 of my Total War Attila, The Last Roman, Roman Expedition, Let's Play Campaign, Vedi Vidi Viki. Uh, previously, I know, just been playing with three people, per the usual, uh, we researched uh, this tech here, Traditions of Strategy, in which that forces us to basically upgrade these units to, to these. Now, since we've got a bit of money, and since you guys are always fucking complaining that I don't upgrade my units, which I think you guys are idiots for bloody suggesting it most of the time. Uh, but in this campaign, what I decided to do, keep the Roman expedition going so that we could actually upgrade the units. Rather than having 12 armies of shit, we can ha afford to have 4 armies of good quality units because we don't have any settlements to defend. And See, this unit here, I just don't see it as really being worth that upgrade, but we're going to do it anyway, so. It lied to me. It said it would have 40 attack. Or oh, maybe I upgraded a unit that didn't have any experience. Oh, right. I'm just not happy with that at all. I do have more health. These more defensive units are what I need to attack units. I want to have... High me me uh, melee attack. Then again, let's have a look and see what their armor piercing rating is. Uh, damage, armor piercing, 30, I think that's the same as these. Alright, so these guys here, let's have a look at them. This is a scooter toy spears. They are actually better. See, that's what you call an upgrade, and that's actually it kind of makes the upgrade cost worth it but yeah not happy with those there let's upgrade those income goes down a little bit we'll, we'll just upgrade them anyway because I can afford it we hunger for battle. like I said okay so we can upgrade all of those uh, Foderati cavalry I don't see the benefit in upgrading them we'll upgrade them to Tegmata cavalry once this is researched Okay, we'll also upgrade this army down here. So we've lost the free upkeep on this one. But that's okay. So upgrading all of them. And these. And you can see how much of a, a drain on the economy that is. We, we basically just cut our income in half. But that's okay. We didn't really... We're not limited by money at the moment. We're limited by, um, by growth. I can always increase the tax rate. Increasing the tax rate to seven grand, that's okay. So there you go, there's the upgraded units. Okay, I don't know if these guys upgrade again though. I mean, I've had a look in here, but I didn't see it. Yeah, I don't think they do get upgraded again. Is there anything in here that will reduce upkeep costs? This for mercenaries, but that's it. Everything else is just unlocking stuff. Recruitment costs. I, I'm not concerned by recruitment costs. They're, they're not going to be down there. All right, let's leave it be. All right. Okay, so we can make the attack on here, but can you make it? You can't make it to to help. So what we'll do? We'll land here. You come over here, because I need your help. That way they're in separate territories. And we'll attack them next time. It doesn't look like they're mustering, so... They're not going to be any stronger. You start moving around them. If they want to attack us, that's fine. We've, we've, still, uh, we've got more power, especially now that we've upgraded our units. These guys here should be a bit tougher. Maybe so to sort of match their, what they called, um, shall we, a guy. So they rank three units, tier three. Okay then. And these here, they're, they're rank two now, aren't they? Yeah. That's fine. Alright then. Okay, I think this one here should, uh, the next one here should be military building 
Alright, up north we go. Don't declare war on them just yet. We declare war on the turn we're actually going to make an offensive move. We're just trespassing here. It doesn't matter if they hate us. Who gives a fuck? Because if you declare war on them now, it just gives them an opportunity to, to attempt a defense of it. And why would you give them that opportunity? Honor? Fuck honor. These guys don't have honor. There's no need to play by anything other than uh, the degree at which your enemy will treat you. Alright, I think we will recruit a few more... I hate those. Um, yeah, a few more scooter toy spears. Okay, we've also increased the recruitment capacity with that tech there, which I guess is useful. Alright then. Alright, what else can we build? Okay, so this one here, Barbarian Fuckers. This is Belisarius and stuff. Can upgrade that. Grain storage. Should be meat. Less food, but more money. It will take some growth to do that. I mean, it's okay, I guess, if it's just making food. I really can't be fucked converting it. So we got the public markets. Where does that become available? I need to research that. That could be useful. Uh, that provides... Yeah. It's... Oh, man, that costs a lot of money. That doesn't matter. Um, what about this? When does that become available? Right. And what do we get from Royal Barracks? The Antigsignani. Right, whatever. What else can we build? Probably nothing, because we're limited by growth. Oh, hang on, here's something. Yep, upgrade those drawing rooms. Integrity becomes a problem, just decimate them. Let's move on. Okay, so our economy's taken a bit of a dive, but obviously with things being built... What's this? Fuck no, piss off. They're not interested in doing anything, apart from just dicking around. Alright, Terms of Office. Oh shit. Alright, see, so yeah, they make a big difference now. Everyone that we can, get in there. Good. Reduce upkeep cost by 9%, that's a big difference. Uh, this settlement here, Metis, that's the, the province capital as well, so it'll be a good first settlement to go and take. What's the garrison here like? Pretty weak. Just checking out. I don't think I've auto-resolved anything, but let me just check. Yep. Yep, it's all good. So far, so good. And over here, we can make this attack. Here, they probably should have hired some mercenaries, but it wouldn't make any difference. You keep going at this way, I want to know where the next army is, or where the next city. Big distance between- oh, hang on, it's over here. As you command. Their integrity is really low. So they're not particularly happy with how the situation is within their kingdom. How many settlements do they have left? The Berbers. Six? They must have some settlements up here. One, two... Then there'll be three there. They must have a settlement around here somewhere. There, they've got that one. That's fine. If they want to keep pushing against the Visigoths while I push against them here, I've got no problem with that. At your command. Let them cower before Rome. Didn't give me particularly good odds there. We hunger for but we haven't brought in the, the other moment. half of the army yet. Ready for further orders. None will escape.
All right then. So I don't know why they positioned me there. We're attacking from here. Keep them there. Let's put these guys in action. See how they perform. Doesn't matter if we take a lot of casualties in this battle. Doesn't look like these guys are going to get into a fight again for a while. Just start burning down the city. I don't give a shit. Our reinforcements enter the fray. Enemy has been spotted. Now. Come on, hurry up. Oh shit, someone's being shot over here. Ah, oh, they've got artillery of their own, right. Um well, I don't care if they shoot the Fundatories. Better the Fundatories than the other units. These ones over here. So you guys just get into loose formation and draw their fire. I don't care. Cavalry over here to handle those. Good. There's another one over here. Destroy it for me, will ya? Look, if they're gonna shoot at us, we might as well go in there and shoot back. Should have get my artillery, but I don't even care. I don't need them anymore. Well, not for this battle, though. That means that is they're not going to kill all the crew. Oh, they got one of rid of one of them, but that's just fine. Like I said, don't care. Um, get rid of these. Uh, make sure you guys are not firing at will. It'd be a waste of ammunition in the first place. Not shooting yet, gotta get in closer. I need two of them left. Make that one. Okay, ditch that. I don't want you guys getting killed, that's enough. Wasn't essential for the battle anyway. That's it, take these guys down. Because they'll be a pain in the ass for my guys to fight. You can get in a little bit closer. Now they're shooting at these guys over here. Not fast, doesn't matter if we take a lot of casualties on this. It's going to take us a while to get to the next city in the first place. The tide of battle turns in our favor. Oh, it's, it's not too good over there. These guys are in tight formations. But like I said, I'm not overly fussed. We don't have to do a perfect job of this battle. while you're getting shot. Okay, there's plenty of guys over here that we can shoot. Don't worry about shooting their artillery, it's pretty much dealt with. Yeah, while we're in loose formation, they're not going to do quite as much damage. They're still doing damage, just not quite as much. Eventually they'll run out of ammunition and we'll slaughter them all. What's 
this over here. Oh, they're shattered. That's okay. Over here, kill them. Uh, yep, do that, even though if they charge at us, it'll mean your death, but whatever. Start moving in closer. That's it. Kill them all. Taking a lot of casualties, but I'm not fussed on this battle. I just can't see it going downhill much further. The enemy refuses to admit defeat. The unit has rallied. That's it. Keep shooting them. Very nice. The thing is, I reckon our missile units have done more damage to them than their missile units. And we started off with the balance of power, so we're all good here. Plus, evenly distributed casualties means low downtime. Now that they've run out of missiles, obviously, we've got the advantage. What's this? A Miz Greater, so they can be out to fight? Yep. Big deal. Alright, guys. Out of loose formation. I'd rather not use them. Let's just, uh. Just go into it, make their attack. Use the uh, spears up. Except for those that are in the in the orange. This guy here, for example, doesn't need to participate. Actually, I will send you over here to come and help. What are these? Shall we a guard? Oh, great. And we didn't end up destroying this. Doesn't matter. Okay, this guy here is getting smashed. Probably because he got hit by a javelin, so just pull him back a little bit. Try and keep these casualties um, just in the... Uh, stop them from falling below 100, I guess. Where's this guy over here? Oh, he's also... Come around this side. Could send the cavalry in, but I'm not sure if I want to. It's a bit of a mess. Probably not my finest hour here, but it didn't need to be. Guys, he's taking a lot of damage actually. So I pull him out. He's losing decisively. One of our units can no longer fire. What's this over here? And there's Grey Raiders. You go kill them. I want you to charge in here, primarily to defeat this watchtower. And also the general's right there. You kill him. Yes, this time you can use the javelins. Stop. Oh, there's camels here. It doesn't matter. Yeah, they must have moved it out of the way.
should be kicking their ass. Oh shit, this guy here is taking a bit of damage. Get him out of there. Okay, our guys here should be able to defeat those raiders. Okay, this guy here also taking too much damage. Get him out of there. here. These are Miz Raiders appear to be winning against my guys. Then again, it's only three units of scout equities. Oh, hang on, there's equities promoting there. Look at these idiots over here. They're just not fighting very well. Get him out of there. Where's the generals? We're going to need to br bring them in a bit closer, see if we can frighten the enemy somewhat. These guys here came in at a really bad angle. Yeah, both these lots of cavalry, get out of there. Oh shit, this isn't going so well. Pull them out. If we're lucky, they won't follow. Broken already? Yes. Oh, fucking. At least they're only scout equities. This is why you don't put uh, cavalry inside of a city. Idiots. Brokenness doesn't tell them to retreat. I'm trying to save their ass. That's okay, they'll get away for the most part. But everyone that went through that way was a bunch of idiots. Okay, cavalry, move back. Who's this? Alright. Yeah, the infantry can handle this. The cavalry did not do a very good job of it. It's because they're not meant to have a prolonged fight. They're meant for charging, and they don't really get a good chance to charge in a city like this. Not done yet. Oh no, he's done. Get him out of there. What's going on here? You guys are sitting around drinking tea or something. Fucking start killing them. Bastards. Okay, what I want you slingers to do... Off. Who's breaking off? Oh, it's just them. That's okay. Enemy you guys come over here. Capture... Oh, fuck's sake. I hate this shit. Come over here and start capturing this. Yeah, they'll take a lot of damage, but... Okay, well that means battle's won. I'm just going to start breaking off now. Now, the funny thing is, apart from what happened to that cavalry here, the casualties that we've taken have been completely acceptable. Like, this will all recover very quickly. Like I said, the individual man in any battle does not matter, but the actual integrity of the battalion itself. Which, in this case, is all pretty good. And we get a decisive victory, despite it really not being my finest hour. It didn't, like I said, it didn't need to be. So yeah, only that one there was the only, I suppose, bad point of the battle. But even if they got annihilated, we could just replace it straight away. They recovered a little bit. Uh, we could merge them and maybe just recruit a new one from scratch, but I don't care. Okay, we've got a bit of a way to get to Pomaria. But let's get started then, shall we?
All right then. Hey, look, the uh, Eastern Empire have actually brought some forces over here. What is this? A fleet, or is it? Yeah, it's a, a fleet. Well, I don't know what they're doing, but maybe they should actually focus on, I don't know, something else. Like, I've got that area under control. I should come over here and take Sardinia so I don't, I don't have to do it. Alright. Time to declare war on the Franks. Okay, I'd like to auto resolve this battle, but can't be doing that. Commander, Looks like our guy over here has healed. Send him back there. If he gets wounded again, no big deal. Keeps their agent busy. Seems to be nothing out here at all. Perfect opportunity to just keep smashing them. Oh, I've got John the Armenian to attack. We need Belisarius because he's got the artillery. then so small walls I'm not overly fussed on making this an efficient battle reinforcements coming from over fucking over here so we'll attack from this angle right here okay looks good no don't do that um I'm not fussed on making this 100% efficient, so I'm not going to fire it manually. Just let them do their own thing. Blow the section up. Oh fuck. They've got their own artillery. Um, what are they shooting at? Fools! Wiser men would flee before our numbers! Fuck. I can't ha I, we need to make a breach, so we, I need to protect the artillery. but also try to protect the cavalry. Whoops, I forgot to redirect. Oh shit, got too close to them. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is actually really bad. They've got such oh Germanic archers, right? Yeah, they're always a pain in the ass. They've got a huge range. The enemy Not doing a very good job so far. But even if even if we did lose this unit, we can still break in. Okay, it's out of ammunition now. Back to it. Destroy that. They should still have plenty of ammunition to destroy it. What are you doing, you morons? Fucking idiots. When the walls are down, send in the crossbow to fuck them up a bit. Good, now we're organized. Let's 
make sure this section here is destroyed. Destroy that section that could save us half the amount of casualties and having to push through there. But obviously we lost a lot of ammunition by losing some men and uh, a one of the onagers. But we still have enough. These walls crumble before our might. All right, Let's see if we can destroy a tower. We got half their ammunition. They only need to make two hits. Let's see if they do it. How much damage have we done to the settlement? Okay, hang up. We got archers coming in over here. Not fast if these guys take a lot of casualties. There's not much in the way of resistance anywhere nearby. Because they could, these things they fucking outrange us, motherfuckers. And they'll never hit it. What the fuck? This one's getting slaughtered over here. Can't land a single Enemy hit. Units have to the battle. We need to get closer if you want to get them, because they're outranging us. No longer do these guys have great range, but their their shots are pretty much like crossbow shots, really high powerful. I think Germanic archers are a little bit overpowered, but it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if we take a lot of casualties. Like now, let's focus on these guys over here. Nope, couldn't even land a single hit, you fucking idiot. So the artillery did not do a very good job for me on this battle, but it didn't didn't need it to. Okay, you guys that are in the orange you can get back. Try and keep these casualties evenly distributed. Shatter them, or else we'll just come back. See? Alright then. Now for the assault. At least our guys, these ones here, um, the upgraded ones, uh, they've got more health and armor now than their predecessors, so they should last a little bit longer against watchtowers. Not take quite as much damage. The casualties that we've taken here are completely acceptable. That'll recover before they'll recover completely before they get to the next city. It's like two turns away. There's no resistance in between, and if there was, we could probably still handle it, because these fucking Franks are at war with the Visigoths. And when we go to war with the Visigoths, it's quite possible that we'll have an army, two expeditions in the north, two expeditions in the south, sort of squashing them from both sides. What the fuck are these guys doing? Well, there's only one way into the city. I don't know which way you think you're going. I know they're sort of blobbing them around a little bit, but... It's the way to keep the casualties evenly distributed. The 
The enemy's tower has been destroyed. Just ignore them. They're not even real troops. I'm gonna get over here. Ignore that as well. We're not taking much damage. There they are. So what are these? Germanic Levy? Okay, so we're now cut above them. We should be able to kick their ass, even if we are exhausted. I would very much like it if you could sneak past them on the flank here, so we can attack them from multiple sides. The victory point will soon be under our control. Yeah, we've got them. Good. Although we took a lot of casualties, like I said, it'll we'll be back at full strength before we get into the next fight. So, no loss in efficiency. Ready for orders. Good, they can still move quite a distance. Alright, obviously our economy is not in the best of shape, but that's largely because we need these guys there. So that'll largely fix things up. Okay, so. Buildings. We can now bring that to level 4. Is that going to provide a lot of money? Yeah, it will. Because that requires 4 growth as well. But what can we get out of that? More food or officer's tent. We don't need that. Integrity is not important for this army. We can't get another private latrine. That's just too out of the way to go, to go for. Four grand though. That's a significant amount of money. But if I look at the bonuses that we're going to get. So that's an extra 200 from animal husbandry. Plus 300. So that's an extra 500 from this. That's pretty big. Plus there's extra food involved, so go for it. I doubt we'll be able to build anything else though. So we're probably going to need a turn of high taxes. And I think that's all we can do this turn, so let's move on. Seems like they failed to take the city. Good. Political obstruction. We'll decree it because there's not much else Flab this Belisarius is going to use his influence for. Just decree it. And that should have greatly increased our income based on, yeah, normal taxes. Very good. Can almost make it there. Because they're almost ready to fight anyway. They won't recover so much in enemy territory, though. Look at this. Back to full strength. Okay, so they can actually make it here this turn. Alright, Belisarius always makes the attack. Let's wait for John the Armenian, would you? So if we have a look at the, the map here, we've we've conquered a considerable amount for... What the fuck is this? I never conquered that. The, um... Wait, did I? They must have done it. So they've actually sent some forces out here to ac actually help us. Wait, wasn't that owned by these guys? The way down, Franks, not the Burgundians. Where are the Burgundians? Okay, they must be starving. They are. Very good. So they're finished. The Eastern Empire sorted them out. 
Now we can see down there that the Franks have two armies down here, obviously dealing with the Eastern Empire. That's sort of no concern of mine, because we're going to come up here and take all their northern territories while they're fighting in the south. Nice and easy. Because they can't fight us on multiple fronts. But we can fight them on multiple fronts. It would be good if we would see the Eastern Empire actually committing a few more soldiers over here, though. Because I reckon they'll end up losing Narbo, and even though I didn't take it for them, it would be good if I didn't have to conquer the entirety of the map. I could give it if they actually pitched in a little bit. It would just make the campaign a little bit quicker. Son of a bitch, fucking Northern Gaul, fucking rainy piece of fuck. Whatever. Doesn't matter that much. All right, just bombard there, cause they'll they'll uh they'll come out to fight. reinforcements have arrived. Just remember to shoot the living shit out of them. We have sighted the enemy. Taking a little bit of damage, but we can afford it. Oh crap! Uh, wait there. Their um, missile cav. Are they coming into melee? Yes, what the fuck? Oh, they raped my crossbow. So I reckon it's friendly fire that actually did that to them. Eh, it's fine. Stay out of the battle, but you'll recover in time. We've seen where the Franks' army are now. We can, we can hop around from... City, from city to city just conquering it without any real resistance. I mean, that went badly, but it doesn't matter. It's going to recover before we need them. Fucking Germanic archers in their motherfucking range. They're shattered. Okay, pull back. The crossbows have taken a lot of damage now. Alright, so we'll send in the melee troops. They should be able to handle the rest of this. Okay, use the javelins. Would because they're gonna skirmish, aren't they? Doesn't matter. And we're done. Although the battle went badly, it's just not gonna make any difference in the long run. Probably if I'd concentrated a bit harder and not been reckless, we could have walked out of there maybe with a 100 or 200 casualties, but like I said, it's not going to make any difference. There is nothing out here to resist us. Ready for orders. And I'd rather get that battle done quickly because it was, you know, hardly even worth fighting. And see, they're recovering at a huge rate. We're not even encamped. We encamp and they're back to half strength next turn. Okay, next settlement is Paris. Okay, they actually do have a lot of troops out here. Whilst they can't reach us, attacking that... Hmm, I didn't realise I was going to have this much out here. Uh, it's okay, I'll recover before we get there. Now that's a battle, if we were to fight this right now, that we would really have to be careful on. Luckily though, they don't have a lot of crossbows or 
artillery or anything like that. Got a priest there, I don't care about that. But that could be an interesting fight. I'm still pretty confident. Okay, you come down here. You as well. Make sure our guys stick together. Good. You'll be back at full strength, and you'll be close to full strength. Or almost to full strength. It's all good. When do we next get additional replenishment? That's 5% from there, but that's... Look at the cost of that. That's ridiculous. That's not that useful. Hardly any of these things are actually useful. Siege defense battles, yeah, not fighting any of those in this campaign. Yeah, most of these techs are now completely useless to me. At your command. Okay, then we get to building. Uh, we can build up the meat storage here, but I wanted to build a military building, so we'll hold off on that. Okay, over here, we can justify that, yep. And that's all we can build, so not very much. Okay, let's also check further west to see if there's any further resistance over this way. Nope, doesn't look like it. And we could redirect our forces down here where there's nothing, but Paris, I think it's their capital. It would be a huge blow to them to lose it. What's the strength rating of the Franks? They're ranked as number two, so they're actually quite strong. There's Bretons over here. They're not very strong. Same people. We can't really get them to merge with us, though. Yeah, so they recently conquered that themselves. I reckon if these guys here attack Narbonne, they'll win. So we'll see how the Eastern Empire does. Okay, let's move on to the next turn. This motherfucker's coming in again. Trying to assassinate. Hopefully he just wounded it. Good, we wounded him. The Lord speaks through thunder and storm, but tells us to ally with you if you will have us. I won't have you. You can go suck a cock. Even for that amount of money. I'm not interested. Put an extra zero at the end of it, and then we'll start talking. Okay, he was just wounded. No big deal. Okay, so what's going on over here at Paris? Okay, so they've taken their units out of the city, which is actually bad, because if we're going to assault that, which we could do this turn, it would be... We could actually use a night attack and not have to worry about them at all. However, that's the end of this video. So guys, like and subscribe, part 26, I think, is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.